This is unit number three, video number seven, the electron configuration of ions. We get to the actual interplay between atoms, especially when we're transferring electrons and creating ionic compounds, then we can see what's going to happen on the atoms based on the valence electrons. Now, one of the things we'll be aware of is electrons are going to be taken from the outermost energy levels first. So it makes sense if two atoms are coming together, this atom wants to steal electrons from the other atom as they approach. The outer electrons are the one it's going to come in contact with first. So it's going to steal those. The inner electrons, those outer have to be exposed, then the inner can be taken from. So we we'll always keep that in, in mind. It's not necessarily in the order that we put them in. It's outer shell electrons first. The shell, or the principal energy level, is Bohr's diagram level. So we could draw a little uh, Bohr diagram of something like titanium. Titanium is going to have a double gas configuration of argon, 4s2, 3d2. You'd say, well, what does that look like? Well, we've got an argon core. We've got titanium with uh, plus 22 nucleus. And then we've got clearly four energy levels. The final set is right here. So these are the furthest out, or they reach the furthest out. Okay? So we only have two electrons sitting here. We've got, uh, what, 10 electrons sitting here, and then eight electrons, and two electrons, like that. So these outer shell electrons are going to be taken off first. That's the way titanium is going to. React. So titanium likes to create two different ions. The first is titanium plus two. Now when you do the electron configuration of ions, always write out the normal element first. Don't follow an electron configuration order of fewer electrons. Write out the normal electron configuration and then take away. So as I go through and I say, okay, titanium likes to form titanium plus two. Well, when I look at this, I say, okay, titanium plus 2, the outermost electrons are the 4s2. So titanium plus 2 is argon 3d2. It lost the 4s electrons before the 3d. Now, titanium plus 4 is the other form of titanium. And clearly, there's two more valence electrons there. It's never going to lose electrons out of the core. We know that's true. So it's going to stop at the core every single time. So we could look at titanium and know its maximum charge is going to be plus 4. So we're going to have just argon core at titanium plus 4. Now we could draw an orbital diagram of an electron configuration of an ion. Here, we usually would still draw the 4s even though it's empty because it is in play for the atom. And then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 for my 3d. Obviously, I have two electrons here. Spin up, spin up. Still follow the same rules. Now, when you do electron configuration of ions, don't worry about exceptions. Uh, just follow the electron configuration as it normally will occur. So we take away. Now, when we're adding electrons in the nonmetals, that's the elements that tend to add electrons, right? We know metals form cations. Nonmetals up here form anions. They might become negatively charged. How many electrons are getting re going to receive? Well, normally, Fluorine's column, or the halogens, like to receive one electron. Well, notice when it gets that electron, what is it like? The double gas. Oxygen's column likes to receive two electrons. So when oxygen receives two electrons, now it's like the noble gas. Nitrogen's column likes to receive three electrons. That brings its noble gas. So these things are forming negative charges, in most cases, to form the noble gas configuration. So if I'm doing O minus 2, Obviously, normal oxygen is helium, 2s2, 2p4. But now it's negatively charged. That means there's extra electrons, two extra electrons. Where are those going to go? They're going to go into 2p. So we're going to have helium, 2s2, 2p6, which is the neon electron configuration. So when we're talking about ions, you want to remember when we take electron away electrons, it's taken from the outer shell first. And if two are at the same level, like a 3s, 3p, then it would go out of the p first. But if we have a 4s and a 3d, it's coming out of the 4s first. 
where we're gaining electrons, it's generally going into the P subshell every single time. 